Ivrim, Hebrews 10. For the Torah has a shadow of good things to come, not the image of the things, in the annual cycle of those sacrifices which they offered perpetually, which can never consecrate those who attend thereto. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. In wherefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you would have no delight, but a body have you prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the rolls of the sefer it is written of me, to do your will, O Yah. Above, when he said, Sacrifice and offering, and burnt offerings, and offering for sin, you would have no delight, neither had pleasure therein, which are offered by the priestly regimen. Then said he, Lo, I come to do your will, O Yah. He takes away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified. Through the offering of the body of Yahusha HaMashiach, once for all. And every priest stands daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of Yahweh from henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Ruach HaKadosh also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, this is the covenant that I will cut with them after those days, says Yahweh. I will put my Torah into their hearts, and in their minds will I write it, and their sins and wicked deeds will I remember no more. Now, where remission of, this, of these is, there is no more offering for sin, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahusha, by a new and living way, which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having a high priest over the house of Yahweh, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of belief, having our hearts sprinkled from all evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our believing without wavering, for he is true that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despises Moshe's Torah dies without mercy by two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy who has trodden under the foot, rather under foot the son of Elohim, 
and has counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he is sanctified an unholy thing, and has done despite unto the Ruach, Shain, rather, Chain. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongs unto me. I will recompense, says Yahweh. And again, Yahweh shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living Yah. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Partly ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that, after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by belief, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. <laughs>